Hey guys, and welcome back to Karuna Satori Basic. So today's video is going to be the one month mark. Well, despite the two weeks I took off for family mail because of my, my tits, but uh, the one month mark of our family mail. And I decided, usually I was gonna do the whole family mail thing maybe once a month. I didn't think that when I got a PO box, so many people would send me um, letters and all kinds of things and I'm so incredibly grateful like again I say this in every single one of my family mail videos that I'm so grateful for all the comments for the shares for the um, messages for the any little bit of attention that I get from you guys especially from somebody who suffers very very bad um, with depression anxiety and low self-esteem like complete extremely low mental health um, I am it's, it's, it's really refreshing just being able to read some of your letters saying that I've helped you or I've done something in your life that was positive. It really means a lot. So um, these letters right here uh, are recent, kind of. I accidentally mixed some of the older letters with the older unopened letters. So I got to go through those and see what's opened and what's not. Um, uh, there's multiple names, so it's a little bit hard to remember offhand, but yeah. So let's begin, I guess. Um, I'm very, very grateful again, and I don't know, I guess let's just dive right in. So the first letter I've got here is from Sam C, and he or she, because anybody named Sam could be a boy or a girl's name, lives in Sebastian, Florida. And this is what her, her or his or any identification looks like. And there is something hard in here. Somebody, or wait, maybe this is it, I think. Hold on. I'm going to open it. Yeah, this is it. I knew it. I was like, okay. So I opened this letter because I had to pay postage for it whenever I went to the post office, which is fine. Sometimes when there's stuff in it, like they'll charge more when it gets to the post office, which, which makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know. Um, and I opened it and there, you'll see in a minute. But I was like, what is this? And there was really not a description so let's go through the letter first there's a little letter with a adorable little heart thank you very much sam sammy samuel samuela look how cute this is this could totally be like a thumbnail you just put it up real close with the lights in the background i think that's real aesthetic no okay thank you very much sam that's adorable little drawing so let us read, let us pray. I am freezing. Like you guys have no idea how hard this is gonna be to read a few letters. That's why I only have like six of them. Like my nose is freezing. My mother just did not turn the heat on today, which is fine. This was written on September 20th. Hi Sarah, hello. I just wanted to say, hey, hey. Thank you for your kind words about Irma. Thankfully, my family wasn't hit too badly, though we thought we would be. Your video helped me feel better in the days before the storm. I hope you are doing well, and if not, I hope things get better soon, or at least easier to deal with. Thank you very much. I am going through some shit. Thank you. I sometimes have a lot of trouble filling in and feeling like a real part of a group. Fitting in, I'm sorry. But you always do your best to make everyone feel like family. I'm sorry for my shitty... Oh my god, you guys always do this. Every single one of my letters that I read from you guys is like, I'm sorry for my crappy writing. I'm sorry for this. It's like... This is not crappy, like it's not. Um, yeah. So now, for some general info about me, I am 16, I have eight sibs. I like how she, or he or she said that. One older, one younger. I was homeschooled from first to eighth grade and now again in 11th. It's so weird to write that because I still feel like an infant. I know what you mean. I am an aspiring artist. I like rock, folk, and blues. I like to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of hollow, but you should enjoy what you enjoy and screw what anyone else says about it. Well, that's about it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Love, Sam. Look on the back for a PS. <laughs> that's cute. I really appreciate your love for the fellow LGBT plus members. There's no, oh, oh, she like added, or he or she added a little cue. Stay strong. PPS, I would love for you to write back. When I have time, I'd be happy to write back potentially. Thank you very much, Sammy. Sammy. I'm gonna put your little picture right up in here because it's cute and I like it. 
finished. But yeah, you did not, if you're reading or watching this, Sam, and you see me opening this, there was no description as, oh, that's weird. I caught it right between my fingers as to what these are. I know that this right here, I believe, is an arrowhead. I'm making, see, I'm like so used to making ASMR sounds like wherever I go. It's so weird. But yeah, you sent me like a little rock, which looks like an arrowhead or a ghost. I'm not sure. Or the Harry Potter hat. I couldn't find, I don't know if this is a fossil. It looks like it. You're gonna have to identify, like it's so um, hard to like look into it and be like, oh, that's what this is or anything like that, so. Thank you very, very much, Sam, though. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna put this back in here. Well, first I'm gonna put your letter back in here and then I'm gonna put the thing back in. But that was really cute and I really appreciate it. Like just those positive words mean so much to me. But yeah, it is so cold in here that my coffee is even cold and I've only been here for 40 minutes. Like, Okay, next letter. Okay, good. You can, okay. All right, is from... Oh, you can't even. Please forgive. Oh God, please tell me. All right, this is from Sofia Torres Gomez from Porta Nueva, España. Oh God, I am not good at this. Like, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. But first, let's um, open it and then we'll go from there. A little bit hard to open, which is fine. I'm, I like I said, I need to get a letter opener. Um, if you guys remember, if you guys watch my main channel and you've seen my old um, YouTube videos, like their vlogs with my old friend Mead, who I'm no longer friends with um, at all, he and I had this thing, like he had this knife, it was, it looked like a sword, it was like a long sword, but it turned out to be a letter opener. And he would always try to give it to me, I'm like, I'm never gonna need to open any letters, like the only mail that I get is from like debt collectors. <laughs> and stuff like that so it's hilarious I was like oh my god and it's funny because now I need it like the most so I'm going to put your letter right here Sophia or your um, envelope and let me get out of Indian style and I see regrets oh my goodness it's so cute oh it's going on my wall look at this it's a baby <laughs> No, that was so cringy. Look! Oh my god, it's all the Rugrats, and then they made a Karuna Rugrats. Oh, I'm gonna put this all over Facebook and Snapchat. Cool 90s Club by Sophia. That is literally the coolest art I've ever seen. Thank you so much, Sophia. And they all look so real. And I love how you made me look kind of like a Chucky spawn, which is perfect, because Chucky has like severe anxiety and like low form of depression, which is... <laughs> no, okay. It perfectly works. Sophia, that's adorable. Thank you so much. Okay, let's look at your letter in advance. Dear Sarah, my name is Sophia and I am an 18 year old girl from Spain. So I apologize in advance for my spelling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're fine, Sophia. Thank you. Oh, I didn't read the parentheses. If you want to read this in one of your videos, I allow you to read every single part of it. Thank you. Okay. As you can see, I drew a picture of you and all the Rugrats because as a part of the cool 90s club, I was also obsessed. How cool is that? Well, not very cool because I can't draw shit, but I hope you love it. I love it. Thank you so much. You you, you people are so down on yourselves. Like, literally, that's probably why we're all such a good family is because we all just like, it's just so bad. Like, I don't know. You guys hear the sirens back there? Ever since I was little, whenever those sirens would go off, I'd cry and like, it, it's just, it's so bad. I'm about to get a bit intense right now, so prepare yourself for my drama queen skills. Oh, no worries. I, I have all the, the, the drama and tea and shade, so. When I was a child, I had the most fun and amazing childhood. I loved to watch TV, play, sing, and make plays, and then show my family. Years later, when I was 12, I moved cities because of my mom's job and I had a hard time getting used to my new city because I didn't want to be here. The first year of being here I nearly got raped, excuse me, trigger warning, by a man. I was nearly 13. I'm very sorry to hear that. I really am. I still got touched very inappropriately but when he was about to go further I pushed him and ran. 
I honestly don't know how I did that because I literally froze when he was touching me. <laughs> That's what happened to me. To this day, I can still feel his hands in my trigger warning. I could still feel his hands in my panties and get chills. Then I got bullied because of my hair and braces until I was 15. I had no friends, but I focused in my songwriting, singing, and aching. One day I found a YouTube channel with this blonde girl who probably curses too much like myself, but who cares? Anyway, she makes really cool ASMR videos and her life was pretty similar to mine, even in the drug addiction aspects, but I don't really want to go into detail with that. Completely understandable. At first it freaked me out a little bit because it was not fair that there was a prettier version of myself out there, but then I kind of fell in love with her. That girl is you. Aww, thank you. Oh my goodness. I was so bad at like compliments. Like that's so sweet. You didn't have to do that. Nowadays, I use my abuse story to help other girls in the same position in feminism marches, and although I kind of cry every time, I also share it publicly because it was not my fault, and I shouldn't feel ashamed, and you shouldn't. Whether you froze or not, that means nothing. It's still rape, okay? Like, a lot of people don't get that. They're like, well, you still laid there and took it. It's like, you don't get it. Like, you don't get it. Don't get it! <laughs> like, it makes me so mad. I use my good ass childhood memories to help other children with less opportunities. In fact, I'm going to sign up to spend weekends with little kids whose parents are recovering from drug abuse or other stuff until they can get their children back. That's really sweet. You really should consider that. That's incredible of you. Oh, a little kiss mark. I love it. <laughs> I am a proud bisexual girl. Oh, that's awesome. That has spent her teenage years just like you did, having sex so someone could love me because of the abuse I went through. And thanks to your ideas, I'm trying to learn how to love people the right way. That's great. Good for you. Honestly, that's... Wow. <laughs> Although it's more difficult than I expected, I'm about to create my own ASMR channel, and it is thanks to you and the way you inspire me. Oh, I'd love to promote you. Please let me know. Like, I promoted um, a person in my last video. You are kind of my muse. Aww. So thank you, Sarah. And I know you went through so much shit, but that kind of put you where you are today. It sucks that sometimes we have to go through difficult times in order to help others in the future, but I'd like to think it's worth it. Stop justifying your words and, I don't know, something acts so much in your story time. They were and always will be rallied. Thank you. Rabid? You are amazing. I also kind of have the biggest crush on you, but although I've dated people your age, you're way too cool to date me. Oh my gosh, stop. So I like to think we are soulmates in a non-creepy kind of way. You're not creepy. You're the one just... <laughs> no. And nobody can take that away from me, lol. You're... You can stalk me on Instagram if you want to and DM me. It'd make my day so much better. At... I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants that. By the way... Make more conspiracy videos. They're kind of amazing. You are my favorite person in the world, Sarah. Love, Sophia. I like the kiss. It looks like you have like really pouty lips. But yeah, that's really sweet. Thank you so much. And thank you so much again for this. This is going in a frame like it is. Like I have some more art at home that's in a frame. If you guys want to send me art, literally, I, I love it. I, I love it. It's such a nice thing. Like, I, I don't know. I just, it's weird. Okay, next letter. No, I'm kidding. I always, I always, like, I have a Bengal cat. You guys know that. And I always, I like, I don't mean to scream at her, but I'm always like, kitten! Wait, kitten! Really loud. My mom's gonna wake up. She's gonna be like, what the hell? Like, but thank you. All right. So, this one is from Finland, and this is actually an older letter that I got, or card, it feels like a card, something hard. Um, and what's interesting is, I think I remember somebody commenting on my last family mail video that said, um, I sent you a letter from, letter, I sent you a letter from Finland, and I'd like you to open on camera, so, hopefully this is it. And this is taped, of course. So, I'm looking in the light. I'm gonna have to rip the, well, no, actually, I can... Yeah, all right, good. I ripped around the kitty sticker. Oh, don't rip the letter. Don't rip the letter. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, it's the tape. How am I supposed to? I need a dang letter opener. I'm so bad at this. Hold on a minute. 
if I could just get this one part off. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it. All right, there's no um, return address, so that's good. I can't believe I got something from Finland. Like, that's crazy. I'll put that down there. I love this quote. This is so adorable, but there's a quote on the back. I'm covering the last name. And it says, And I said to my body softly, I want to be your friend. It took a long breath and replied, I have been waiting for this. I have been waiting my whole life for this. By Naira. Please, I'm so sorry if I can't say your name like correctly. Naira. Naira. Naira or Naira or Naira. But thank you so much for that. That's beautiful. I love when people write on doubles lines. Like, I used to do that to try to um, make the letter appear longer when I would... I know that's not why, but <laughs> it's funny. This was written on the 17th of September from Finland. Dear Sarah, my name is Elena, and I just wanted to write you so I can thank you personally. Okay, so that's not your name. Your ASMR videos have helped me to relax, calm my mind, sleep better and ease my anxiety. I suffer from eating disorder, binge eating, and it caused me to have so much hatred for my body. I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay, where did I go? Oh, I feel constant shame for talking too much or taking too much space. Oh my gosh. And I feel tense most of the time, but your warm approach, positivity and gentleness makes me feel loved, accepted and in some way appreciated it makes my road to recovery a little bit easier and I can have a break from my vicious thoughts. That's so sweet. So thank you. I would love to see more self-love and self-care videos, but to be honest, I love everything you do. Thank you. I'm so sorry for all the things you have had to go through. We are around the same age. I admire your strength and despite everything, can't tell. you have so much to give to us all. You are a true survivor and your story will no doubt help many. Thank you for everything and good luck with everything. We are here for you like you are here for us. Remember to take care of yourself. You are dear to so many. Love, Elena. P.S. I hope you live or love, or wait, I hope you like the card and the quote. I love that quote so much and it gives me strength. I hope you like it too. I love you. I love you too, Elena. I, I really do. I love you. Lots. But yeah, so this was, again, the card. Look at that cat. Cat looks drunk as hell. It's like, yeah, shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm literally not funny. But yeah, thank you again, Alina. That was beautiful. And I really, really appreciate it. Try not to drop it, like, all dramatically. Okay. So we have three more letters. This one is from Kyla. And I actually think that I got or gave her a personalized video, I believe. But look at this adorable, adorable, adorable card. All right. All right, so opening it up. a picture in here I'm trying not to ruin it I'm going out and I am buying a letter opener today I promise because this is an adorable adorable um, like letter and I like to keep I, I always have this thing where I like have to keep the envelopes it's so weird like I don't know all right there's like more than one picture in here okay oh wow oh oh that's a, oh it's like oh oh I thought this was, um, why am I so bad at remembering names whenever it comes up? Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, what's his name? I cannot, I cannot, like I can't. Who does that look like to you? It looks like him. I, I suck. I am terrible at it. They just had the new It movie and he was the main It and the old one from Stephen King. But this, whoever he is, is adorable. So thank you, Kyla. And this is... Pride 2017. Look how cute this is. This is so vintage looking. Like, I need this camera. In fact, I'm going to Walmart after this and seeing if they have it because this is literally, I just, I love it. Like, thank you so much. I love when you guys send me pictures. Like, I love it. And then, 
Is this Bonnie and Clyde? Because it looks like it. I might be wrong. I Obviously, you guys know that I'm terrible at this already at this point, so I just give up. <laughs> All right. Dear Karuna, I've been wanting to send a letter since you posted your P.O. box. I just didn't know what to write, and I still don't, honestly. I'm not sure what you're supposed to write in these letters. <laughs> Do I tell you my life story? Do I kiss your ass? Hopefully. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Both? Both. Ass kissing first. I'm being 100% honest when I say that I love your videos. Your content is top and I've seen a ton of your videos. Now I've only been watching your channel since last Christmas, so not long, but all the same I do love and enjoy your content. It's not forced or awkward, it feels real. Not trying to bash other ASM artists, but just my opinion. You're really good at what you do, but but your past videos, I enjoy you as a person. When you say you love us, it feels real. You are real. I don't find many real people these days. I admire you greatly. I don't know when this letter will get to you, but I wish you well for your surgery. I had ordered a custom video from you. I knew it when um, you were offering and I just adored or adored it. It's my favorite thing. It makes me happy. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. What is this? <laughs> you guys. Maybe. I hope you can read my handwriting. I, I can. I'm just, it's it's very clustered. So like my glasses, since I just got them, it's very hard to focus. It has nothing to do with your handwriting. All right. You probably don't care. Aww. But here's a little bit about myself. I'm 18. Well, in a week. I'm a college student studying film and English. That's awesome. I make short silent films for fun and I'm a giant non-binary queer. Fun stuff. Oh my god. You're like giant. <laughs> I mainly mention these things because the Polaroid is of my... I don't know if that's its first Pride Festival in Ventura, California. It was my third year going. Oh, so what does that say? And it was a good time. Have you ever been to a Pride event? I haven't, but I'd love to go. I really would. It took me a long time to come out as bisexual, even though it was kind of clear to a lot of people. I've never been to a Pride parade, but I really want to Pride in LA. Looks fun, and I might go. There's also Pride prom. Oh, I've heard of that. And I never went to my actual prom, so this is a giant block of text that I can barely read. <laughs> so sorry about that. The cutout is from National Geographic, Gender Revolution, and the card is of... Howding movie, love you, gay mom, Terror Island. Oh, oh, I. The card is of Houdini's movie Terror Island, 1920, with Leela Lee. I like completely like mix, mixed it up. I'm so sorry. She said didn't think this through. That's so funny because then I read, love you, gay mom, Kyla. Oh, thank you very very much. <laughs> so cute, Houdini. That's funny. Um, my husband. Well ex-husband soon he uh he's all into magic and like mental like tricks and things like that so that's interesting you said houdini but thank you so very very much for this kyla like honestly and i'm glad you enjoyed the personalized video too like that really means a lot feel free to email me anytime i'd love to talk okay so we've got two count them two more letters all right, and the reason that I'm switching through is because this one says open me while this one, okay. This one is from Cassie J and she lives in Biscayne Park, Florida. ASMR, it has a little thing on it. So it says open me, thanks. <laughs> if I can, letter opener. <laughs> okay, put that on the ground over here. Ooh, little drawing. Aww. It's not that good, but it's 2 a.m. Have pity, mother. <laughs> it's not bad. It's adorable. Look at that. Thank you. I like the circles in order to show where you're drawing. Hey, Karuna. It's at, I'm not going to read your name. I've commented on like all of your videos, lol. Recently, I've been diagnosed with anxiety. I'm not going to say that cliche, but I've picked up my phone and watched you because it isn't true. When my parents were fighting or I was having, <laughs> excuse me, an anxiety attack, I couldn't move. I'm really sorry to hear that. I, I cannot stand that feeling. 
but at night I would turn on a video of yours and let that event leave my mind and put me at ease. That means a lot, thank you. So thanks. There's probably going to be some fan art with this, so get excited. Trust me, I am. I'm also sending a Cards Against Humanity card because I'm a middle schooler and I find, I find it funny as heck. You kind of like how you scratched out the E. I pull out my hair as well. It's nothing to do with you, but I feel safe talking to you. Thank you. I'm sorry you do that. Um, when I was younger, I actually used to do that, so it's interesting. If you sent a Cards Against Humanity card, did I miss it? Is this still? Huh. That's okay. Um, okay, so... Oh, by the way, have you ever tried Chocolate Bonbon? No! Oh, Chocolate Bonbon Palette from Too Faced. It's great. I just ran out and it hit pan, <laughs> but I really think you'd like it. Much love and support to you and your kids from your biggest fan, Cassie. And I like how there's pronunciation. You put the little thing. Cansey. Can see. It literally says can see. Okay, can see. I like that. P.S. Check out They Might Be Giants. Fan art on the back. Thank you so, 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 so much again, can see. <laughs> I love it. That was very sweet of you, and I'm very sorry you go through anxiety. I really hate hearing that. Like, I hate hearing it. I, not in a way like I don't want to hear it. It's just I hate hearing that people are suffering. I can't stand it. it it's not fair. It's not fair. So... All right, we actually have two letters here, so. This one has no return address. Oh, it says sent my address via social media. Okay, so the reason I like this card a lot is because it has the little dots on it. And I really like that design for some reason. I know it's weird, but I really do. Okay, it says, you can totally write back if you want, but you're also probably way busy. Ow, why is my eye doing this to me? Sorry about that. Oh, wow. This is awesome. <laughs> I didn't know how to, like, I don't know how to. There's like all kinds of mathematical um, equations on here. So let's get into this because this looks really interesting. Page one. Dear Sarah or Karuna or Miss Satori professionally or Miss Dishong, as an inspiring medical, as an inspiring mechanical engineer, that is so incredible. Hold on, this is 20% better. Sorry, I had to get that off of there. I find myself becoming more open to new challenges, whether mathematical or physical. Therefore, I am always striving to do something pretty crazy in that context. This is awesome. After watching your video that reacts to your thoughts on intelligent life, which I found endearing and lovely, I thought, hey, aliens have huge potential to exist. Considering our universe is constantly accelerating, its growth and genera generating new galactic junk, so shouldn't it be mathematically something to hypothesize this potential? Wow, you are intelligent and incredible. Like, this is awesome. To answer this question is, hell yeah, but too many variables are needed that I have the ability to produce into a notebook, nor do I have the proper, proper equipment for it. So instead, I will cover a different topic question, and it goes thus. Can we travel through space via transient three-dimensional hole that can be replicated as a teleportation or a wormhole? Truthfully, all wormholes is a 3D hole that bends space and time over a distance between two points A and B. Here's the math I did for it, as well as the conditions. Starting at point A, you want to travel to point B along a distance of D of one unit. Oh wow, I, can, I am so bad at reading this. I am a high school dropout, I am nobody, like I'm so sorry. <laughs> Therefore, you secondar your secondary path should be less than one, so that takes less time to get to point B to point B. D1 is less than D1. The fact that you even know this is way beyond like my worthless self. This is incredible. And I'm gonna take it home to Victor and he's gonna be like able to read it. So I'll get back to you. It's like in Family Guy. <laughs> it's like when Sui makes this horrible joke and he's like, he's like, okay, I'll work on it or we'll work on it and I'll get back to you. <laughs> and then he just leaves. If you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, this part is tricky because it's integral. Something and that's, sh that shit be hard, yo. <laughs> Hopefully I get it right. This is my fourth time writing this. Credit to Donnie Lee on YouTube. His video helped me through it. Although this equation does not, or although this equation, 
Although this equation does prove wormholes mathematically, the physical construction of a machine or something similar is way more wacky. Here, hence me becoming a mechanical engineer. This is so cool. This is like the coolest letter. I hope this helps you visualize what a strange and mechanically minded worm, or what a, what a strange and mechanically minded world galaxy universe that we live in, and you are appreciated, despite the odd stuff that's going down. Also, in another letter, perhaps, I will give my own opinions on Alan or alien life when I get the chance. If you want, you can totally reference this letter in a video if you like, or if you feel freaked out by it because some individual just literally wrote you a mathematical analogy and you'd rather not talk about it also is fine. Either way, if I had to rate you as a numerical value, you'd be a thousand over 10 for sure. You're cool, keep doing what you love, Alex. This letter literally, thank you. Like this is so intriguing to me. Like this is so cool. Like honestly, this is, no, it's not weird. No, it's not crazy. Like, this is the shit that I love. It's like, if I could, like, Skype you or something and you could sit down and explain this to me in person, or maybe we could do an interview on this channel, like, I would love that. I love things like this. It's so awesome. Like, I'm starting to get anxiety because my teeth chatter. Thank you so very much. That is incredible. <laughs> Honest to God. And our last letter. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Alex. This is so cool. Okay, we're like 31 minutes in and my phone's about to die. So let's hurry up with this one. Just screw it. No, I'm kidding. Thank you very much, Will, from Pittsburgh, PA. You're really close. That's awesome. And the back of your letter has little kitties. I really dig that a lot. So unfortunately, I'm going to... Oh, no, I might not. Hold on. Uh -oh. Well, I spoke too soon. I always speak too soon. Oh, rip the kitty off. <laughs> It survived though, so I'm gonna put it right here. If you guys don't know my filming setup, go on, well, I guess it wouldn't be on YouTube really, but um, I'm actually gonna do a Snapchat. Maybe you guys will see it on there, and if you did see it, comment down below, because this video will be posted the day that I post this snap, and I'll show you guys my filming setup. So let me know if you saw it or not. God, I'm so bad. I'm getting a letter opener. I might've just ripped the damn letter. No, okay, I didn't. Aww. Oh, it's a laminated. You are loved. I love this one. This is so aesthetic. 90s babe. Totally dig it. Oh my God, these are perfect. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for being awesome. Pets greater than people. Agreed. Cats only. And then this is kind of, okay. Oh, hold on a second. I'll put that right there. And here there's two, wait, it says random facts about me. I'll, I'm going to read that after. That way I can read your letter first and then we can get to me. I hope you enjoy the little quotes I made for you. I thought they would look nice on your wall of photos. I'm totally going to do a video for that, but I want to get these other um, letters opened and see if there's anything else. Oh, is this a sticky note? I want to get this. Where did you get this? If you see this video, um, please definitely... Let me know, Will, so we can do this. Okay. This was written on the 16th of September. I am so far back. Dear Sarah, hello. My name is Will. I'm 15 years old. I live in Pittsburgh, PA, and I have been watching your videos for about a year. Disclaimer before I start getting into this letter. I have ADD and will probably go off topic two million times while reading this. It's okay. I'm the same way. You are by far my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. The fact that you are so down to earth and open makes me admire you so much. By the way, your writing is incredible. Plus, you are also from PA. Your ASMR videos are so wonderful and never fail to relax me. Thank you for continuing to make videos. They seriously make my day so much better. If you read this letter on camera, please don't read this paragraph on camera. Okay, let me read it real quick. Understand. Definitely. Thank you. Oh, you said at the bottom, on God. Oh God, this is a long letter, I'm sorry. You can read the rest on camera. I honestly think of you as such a role model for me, as well as just somebody I look up to. I am a transgender guy. That's okay. And on Christmas, you say it like, I don't know. People always do that. They're like, somebody's going to have to educate me, okay? Because if you're identifying, like, for example, like, th is that just an identification or is it something that, like, somebody feels bad about? Because 
I don't know, like whenever I like used to say that I like girls, I'd always have to justify it like so they wouldn't think that I was weird. And I don't know, maybe that's just me. But if you can like educate me on like pronouns and things like that, please. It's not me being disrespectful and it's not me trying to be like, I don't care. Like I truly want to learn. So please let me know. But the way I read it was like you're saying is, is bad. And on Christmas 2016, I came out to my parents. My mother has been accepting and has been calling me Will and using he, him pronouns. That's awesome. But my dad has actively been being transphobic to me. I'm really sorry to hear that. So whenever my dad calls me his favorite daughter or somebody at school insults me, I watch her videos and they always call me down. I feel so accepted in your YouTube community and I am grateful for that. Thank you so much, Will. You are such a wonderful person and thank you so much for putting yourself on the internet and positively affecting so many people. I hope you have a good day and evening. With love, Will. And then it has your Snapchat. I actually think I have your Snapchat. I've gotten a snap. I'm going to look it up whenever I'm done here. But then there was this. Random facts about me. Oh, there's another one. ASMR mom. I love these. I'm going to put this all over the place. Thank you so much. I'm 15 years old. I have been learning American Sign Language. That's awesome. For two years and would love to pursue it in college. My father actually had to learn um, sign language and dictation when he was studying to be um, a drug and alcohol counselor and into that whole area. I have one dog named Lulu who is seven years old. She is a Shih Tzu Bichon Mi. I was going to say free and it like went to mix. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer with every fiber in my being. Isn't that a saying? I feel like it is. Oh my god. I have been vegetarian since the spring of 2015. Kudos to you, that's incredible. I'd love to be a vegan actually, but I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's bad. Ironically, I hate vegetables. Oh, I have been dating my boyfriend since May of 2015 and I love him with all my heart. That's awesome. Well, like honestly. I currently have a lavender vanilla candle burning next to me. My favorite music artist is against me and I am seeing them October 8th. That's awesome. I am Jewish. That's awesome. I keep saying awesome, but it's so cool. Like the the amount of just different things is so awesome it just i don't know i literally need to come up with a better verb or with that's not a verb you get it i am jewish my mom is jewish and my dad is roman catholic i am quickly running out of things to talk about i love you well i love you too will and congratulations on coming out to your parents even if your dad's a little bit less ac accepting than you wanted um I understand that he calls you like oh you're my favorite daughter or whatever but maybe just because of his time and I'm not justifying transphobia because you said he was transphobic but the way that you said that sentence um, was like that he's he still calls you his favorite daughter and stuff like that and that's that's wrong not to use the pronouns you know what I mean and that's why I'd like to be more educated and things like that but anyway um, you know just know that you know I don't know he does love you and it's it is hard for people uh me especially i didn't really understand it whenever people would um say like oh i want to be a man or because i'm thinking like where are you you know what i mean like it's just really hard and i'd really like to learn so if you have some time will like you gave me your snapchat and things like that maybe you could educate me a little bit i'd really be interested in that i think that you know would really help me in the future and you know i always say like oh you know I love you for what you identify as and things like that, but I could definitely use a little bit more schooling with that, so. But thank you guys so, so much for all your letters. Like, again, I don't deserve you guys. You guys are awesome and you guys are everything. And I'm gonna go meet with um, a few attorneys <laughs> in regards to a harassment charge I got. But I love you guys with all of my person and I can't wait until next week's video. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see. I have a Halloween vlog from yesterday with my kids coming up, um, probably today too, so. Love you with all of my person. Bye, guys.